In this episode, we'll finally be assembling my latest DogBot leg design. Now I've already hacked two more servos for a total of three. We have our, our battery here, our LiPo battery that's built into the design. We have some screws. Eventually I'd like to use bolts in this design, but for prototyping, I'm just going to use screws. And I've printed all of the parts that I need for one leg. Printed them on my RepRap 3D printer. The part that you recognize is the foot. Counting the foot and the lower foot, there's a total of 20 parts. But of those parts, there are only one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten unique parts. So I'm reusing as much as possible. So let's get started. We're done. A few aspects of the design that I want to quickly focus on. The foot, as the leg moves, the foot is always centered to the ground so that when the foot touches the ground, all of the sensors are already aligned to receive information. The parts, as I said, I'm, I'm reusing as many as possible to keep the design simple. The battery is built into the bottom of the leg in order to distribute the weight evenly on the robot. As an example, the, when the leg is lifted off of the ground with the use of the servos, it's pulling up, it's picking up one battery every time it does that. When it pushes down against the ground, it's picking up a few servos, it's picking up the electronics that will be in the center of the dog bot, so it distributes the weight. In the next episode, we will focus on wiring this leg. So I'll see you next time.